And at Grand Prairie, I was met with a lot of interesting questions. People wanted to know why I spoke such good English. Why my Nigerian outfit was a costume. If I was painted black. So I was a bit taken aback by those questions. And I wondered why and where are these questions coming from? The other Nigerian students that were at Grand Prairie Regional College had the same experience. So I thought, well, the Igbo girl in me that is very enterprising, I'm like, well, I'm going to make a business out of this problem. <laughs> at University of Alberta, I had similar questions. But there was even something more spectacular in that everywhere I went to, everybody seemed to be trying to save Africa. There was a big sale everywhere you go to, somebody selling bracelets in the class. You know, people talked about how the West has failed Africa and how we need to, the West needs to go, you know, fix Africa. So I wonder, what is wrong with Africa? When I lived in Nigeria, I never thought there was a problem. Upon doing further research, I found that, in fact, we had a problem. And all along, the truth about my history, about my heritage, about the place I feel and occupy in this world has been denied of me. So I was really, really angry that it took me coming all the way to Canada to learn about my history. The mannerisms that we pick up in pursuing the vision of success that is Eurocentric and disconnected from our cultural environment is what makes us fit in so perfectly here. Yet, we're still asked, how come you speak such good English? So what does change look like? So obviously, we need a pluriversal world. But for us to even begin that shift to a pluriversal world, the first thing is justice. The people, the knowledges that have been excluded from the room need to be brought into the room. Every student, every person is a cultural being. And so someone going to school in my village has a right to be able to learn in a way that enables them to see the treasure, enables them to see how they've gotten to where they are, because that is really the only way they would be able to ensure the community continues to evolve.